Okay, so Mike, go ahead and just tell me for a moment about, you were telling me about your hamstrings being tight? Yes, I have very tight hamstrings. And you're how old? 21. Okay, and how, how long have the hamstrings all your life? Uh, no, actually. Um, I would say since I was in high school, I started having tight hamstrings back pretty much cat, like all the way down my legs, from here down especially, but also in my lower back a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna back this up a little bit here, and uh, let's just see you go down, and let's see how far down you can uh, get close to your feet. So if, try to touch the floor, mm -hmm. but don't, um, don't injure yourself. And then we're gonna get some measurements. Yeah, go ahead and put your arms in front so that we can see. Okay. How's, how's that feel? Is that? It hurts. Okay. Uh, what hurts? The back, like below my knees, a okay, little bit. So let's just see where we're at here. So that hurts back here? Yes. And below my knee too. And below the knee. Yeah. And so right now we are at 15. Okay, so the tips of your fingers are basically at 15 inches off the floor. Okay, so what I want you to do, come on up, do that again. Just go down to where you start to feel the pull. Okay, so again, we're at 15 inches. So let me just back this out a little bit. So there we go. All right, so go ahead and spread your ankles. Go ahead, no, yeah, just spread your ankles. And let me see if we can, like I said, kind of document what we're doing here. Just spread your ankles and then just, just swing, kind of like an elephant trunk. Okay. There you go. And kind of make a circle. There you go. And stand up. Good. And do it again. Just bend over. No, just bend over. Uh, uh. Do some more of these okay. little like alpha trunk swings. Does that hurt in your, your, uh... Yeah, it hurts in the back of my legs. Hurts in the back of your legs, okay. And just stand up again and just kind of march a little bit. Mm -hmm. And let's do that elephant type swing. Come on over towards me a little, because you may be out of the focus there, okay. so. Okay, just swing. Okay, so this is just one of these exercises that we can do. Let's put your feet back together again. And uh, go ahead and let's bend, have you bend over, see what you can do. Okay, so touch your, there we go. All right, so right now we're at 11. You just gained four inches. From 15, he was 15 inches off the floor down to <laughs> 11, so you just gained in the, I don't know, whatever it's been, that the camera's been running three minutes or so, uh, four inches. So that's one of the things that we're going to do. Well, let's get you to lay on your back. Okay. And... We're just gonna, I should have done this before, but just let this relax. I'll just let it relax. I'm just checking for 
how high you can go before it, I can feel the tension in the muscle there. And let's see what's happening in this one. Let it relax. Okay, so we're getting at about, oh, I guess maybe 45 degrees or so before, before I feel the tightness. This uh, right one tighter. is a little bit tighter than the left one. So what I'm gonna do is a stretch on the hamstring, but we're gonna do it in conjunction it's a passive exercise, so you're not doing anything except relaxing. And what I'm going to do is apply traction to the leg while I stretch it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking tension off the ankle joints and the knee joint and the hip joint, which then releases some of the reflexes which deal with muscle tone. So just let that relax. So I'm going to apply traction and put it through range of motion while I have traction. This is how I get my exercise. <laughs> So I'm giving it a little bit more, as I keep the traction on it, I'm giving it a little bit more stretch to the hamstring. Okay, now we haven't done that. That leg feels a lot different now. It feels relaxed. Okay, let me just get Compared to where... The left leg. Okay, can you say that again? What just... What feels different? My right leg just feels relaxed compared to this leg. Um, the, the calf and the hamstring don't feel as tight on this leg anymore. Good. Well, we're gonna we're gonna so zoom I'm out here. On this leg. Okay. So we're gonna just see what happens now without traction. Just let it relax, and I'm just raising it up. And I don't have a protractor or a compass, but it's going higher than it did before. I can feel it. It feels like it's going higher because I can actually see it. Yeah. Let's stand you up. Okay. And we haven't done the left side yet. But okay, good. And uh, we're just going to kind of zoom in here. And only done the one side but go ahead and bend over and touch your okay so what we've just done we're now down at 10 inches off the floor so we've just added an extra one inch right there so in the last five minutes you've gained five inches You've reduced it from being 15 inches off the floor down to 10. So let's uh, just spread your ankles again and just do your kind of elephant swing. There you go. Okay. I think it's the muscle being, every time I go, uh, yeah, whenever I go to this side, that left knee, not the knee, but the muscle, I don't know, it's making a okay. sound, not a sound, but I can feel it. Good. So, go ahead, can you, go ahead and bend over, there you go, and do your swing. Can you let your head down more? There you go. 
I tried to hit you. That's okay. Scoot to your right just a little bit. There you go. So you're not hitting the wall. There you go. And try it. Yeah, there you go. Kind of like an arc. Where are you? What are you feeling back in here? In your just back? Tight muscles. Okay. Go ahead and just bend over. No, just bend over. Now with your legs down apart. Yeah, just go ahead and, and do your, your swing. And we're just going to tap. Let me see if I can see your head there. Okay. So, keep doing your your swing. Now I'm just going to tap this midline of the brain, which deals with the core and deals with your extensor muscles. Bend at the waist a little more if you can. There you go. And just this nice, easy swing. Okay. And go ahead and stand up. And now we're going to... Uh, we're going to have you... Uh, just going to have you bend over again. Actually, stay right there. I'm going to zoom, zoom in a little bit. And go ahead and bend over. Let's see how far you can come to the touch your, your uh, there we go. Okay, so we're still at 10, even with that. Let's put you on your back once more. Okay with your knees up and uh, okay let's actually turn turn you a bit put your feet next that direction okay and let's just see if we're getting you good what we're going to do now is we're going to stretch some psoas muscles so we're going to come right into the groin and go ahead and just breathe. And I'm slowly compressing these muscles. Breathe. That's it. shouldn't have had you so close to the wall, but let's scoot you away from the wall more. There we go. Good, good, good. All right. Now we're going to do that again. Go ahead and breathe. And go ahead and let this uh, left leg down slowly. That's it. Good, good. Let it down all the way. I'm going to spread my fingers and just reset the muscles. Bring this leg back up. Actually, let's swing you around since we got the camera running. Just swing around, put your head down closer to the. Uh, that's good. That's good. And. Now we're going to work on these psoas muscles on this other side. So just go ahead and breathe in. And just slowly stretching these muscles as the patient breathes. And 
let this uh, right leg down for me, the leg closest to me. Just let it down slow. That's good. A little faster than that. And I stretch my fingers apart and reset. Good. And uh, now let's put your, just swing you around a bit so that your head's here. Let your legs down. Let me have your arms for a moment. And I'm just going to stretch. Bring your hands flat together. Okay, that's good. And let me just see what's happening with the camera. Good. And we're going to stretch this left leg. So I'm going to apply traction. And then I'm going to lift. Well, I'm holding the traction on it. And I can feel the ankle cracking. Popping. Yeah. It hurt. That was a big one. So what we're doing here is just applying traction to the leg while I'm stretching the hamstring. I sprained that ankle a few times. So this ankle's had some injuries, he says, some sprains. And I'm moving back. So I can get extra stretch. And we're going to do the same thing again here. And we're getting more than what we were getting earlier. Good. What are you feeling in the legs? Just relaxed. I don't feel tension. I don't feel any tension. Good. Let's get you stand up. Okay. And uh, I'm going to kind of zoom. What are, you, what are you feeling at the moment? I feel like I have more balance. I'm not as, or I can handle my balance better. I felt a little wobbly because of my tight hamstrings and calves before. Okay, good. Let's, I'm going to zero in on your, actually zero in down here. And let's have you bend over and see if you can touch the, how close you can come. Go ahead and there you go. Okay, so well, we're still right about 10. So five inches better. Yeah, so one third the distance here. And I don't feel as tight back here. A little more loose. Good. Great. Anyway, thank you very much, and uh, appreciate you being willing to be a, a demonstrator here. <laughs>